So here's uh, the temperatures that we can see on the, on the CPU. It's a Core i5 in this Alienware M18XR2 and you can see that um, I've just kicked in the heavy load program to thrash the processor at 100%. You can see the temperatures going up there quite significantly and uh, getting up well over 100. Uh, I'll put a link for the heavy load program in the, in the description. Uh, the client um, does a lot of um, does 3D rendering type of work so it's important that uh, we get those temperatures down. So now tearing down, just going to take the fans out and see what's going on there. Well, we can see pretty much what one of the problems is. Uh, I'm not going to put the video for tearing down the entire thing. Uh, I'll put a link into the uh, description for uh, another video on that subject. Um, video is a little bit out of focus and the guy sounds like he's on Mogadon but uh, you'll get the general idea. Uh, this is not a teardown for people who haven't um, taken the laptop apart before. I wouldn't suggest it as the first one. Um, it can be quite challenging. There are lots of very small clips and, and, and wires in difficult places. A bit of a nightmare. So here I'm going to take out the, uh, the heat sink from the, from the processor. And you can see there from the, the, the grey type of heatsink uh, material that uh, this is probably original from the, from the factory and has never been changed. And the way that it popped off um, so easily suggests that it wasn't actually sticking very well either. So we're just going to clean the heatsink off with some, uh, some IPA, some isopropanol. That's my uh, cleaner of choice for this job. And just take your time. Uh, make sure you get all the all the old paste off. Make sure it's as clean as you can get it. And also do the same for the for the processor. Now the client has, uh, has said, "I must use this uh, IC Diamond. It uh, has good reviews on the internet. I'll put a link to that as well." and uh, the method of application. Just a couple of little blobs are necessary and uh, it suggests not to, to spread it out or anything. That will happen naturally with the, the pressure of the, of the heat sink and obviously the heat as well. Uh, you'll often find that uh, there's numbers indicated on the on the heatsink for the order in which you should tighten down the screws and I like just to tighten them down a little bit at a time and then go around in the in a sequence so that uh, they're all torqued down at the, pretty much the same rate. So now we can see that this is the idle temperature uh, much better than it was before and the heavy load program is just going to kick in and there we can see the uh, the temperatures going up in the, into the 70s. Uh, that's got to be at least uh, 30 degrees cooler than it was even when it was idling before. So I would I would say that's a result. So please like and uh, subscribe.